You've probably already heard of inflation, an economic concept referring to the sustained increase in the general price of goods and services over a period of time. An inflation rate of between 0 and 5% is found in most developed economies. Hyperinflation, however, is a situation where the rate of inflation is out of control. While inflation has been around for as long as there has been economic systems, hyperinflation is largely a phenomenon of the last hundred or so years. One of the earliest and most severe cases was experienced in the German Weimar Republic in the early 1920s as they struggled to pay back war reparations to the Allies. The situation was so dire that to keep warm it was more cost effective to burn paper money than to use it to buy fuel. A more recent example is that of Zimbabwe in southern Africa where in November 2008 the monthly inflation rate was a staggering 79.6 billion percent where one US dollar was worth 2.6 billion Zimbabwe dollars. Surprising as it may seem this rate is not the highest inflation rate ever recorded that honour belongs to Hungary, which in 1946 issued a 100 quintillion pengo, a 10 followed by 20 zeros, note. The Hungarian rate of inflation was so high that prices were effectively doubling every 15 hours. Hyperinflation is commonly found in countries emerging from conflict, or where there has been significant political or social unrest. This can lead to a collapse in confidence in the domestic economy, leading people to spend as much money as they can, as quickly as they can, in order to maintain its purchasing power. Why wait to buy a loaf of bread if the price will double by the end of the day? The inevitable result of this panic buying is a massive increase in prices. Since paper money has no intrinsic value, unlike currencies which use precious metal in their coins or which are linked to gold, there is no reason to keep hold of it. In such situations, people will try to obtain as much hard currency, for example dollars, as they can, since it is less likely to lose its value. This is the million dollar, or rather the quintillion pengo question. Once hyperinflation sets in, it's extremely difficult to eradicate. A typical government response to the problem is to increase the supply of money, that is, to simply print more money. However, doing this just leads to ever-spiralling rates of inflation. Two other strategies that have historically been used are re-denomination and shock therapy. Re-denomination, or revaluation, is a process whereby the old version of a currency is translated into a new version by changing the face value. For example, in 2005, Turkey introduced the new lira, which is worth 1 million old lira. Although re-denomination may provide cosmetic changes and create more confidence, the underlying fiscal problems tend to remain. Back in Zimbabwe, not even three rounds of re-denomination had the desired impact, and the currency eventually collapsed. Shock therapy refers to the savage cutting of government expenditure and the imposition of wage and price controls. One form of shock therapy is dollarization, where a foreign hard currency or at least harder currency replaces the indigenous currency. Although this process often employs the US dollar, other currencies have also been used. In summary, hyperinflation can have a devastating impact on a domestic economy, and once it appears, it is extremely difficult to eliminate without extremely difficult fiscal decisions.